G'day guys, welcome back. I'm uh, trying some little resin 3D flowers now. Sorry about that ring light there. I've got it next to me on the side here. I'm seeing if I can get some better light. So going again with the 3D flower, um, I have got hair in there. <laughs> I'm using the um, Platinum Ultra Clear Food Grade. I mixed up 200 grams of A and 90 grams of B in my little cup there. Um, I've put 30 grams, one ounce, in each of the cups. I'm going with... Um, let's do three drops. Three drops of Cast and Craft. Actually, I may do four. Three four four so i'm going to go with gold pink and white and see what i can get uh, normally i use the ultra clear regular but i don't have any so i've been i'm trying the food grade i let my resin sit oh, i haven't got enough sticks now let my resin sit for 20 minutes um, and then i've decanted it i'm going to use some of the arteza white like so and I'm going to do four drops of alcohol ink because I've got four drops of one two three four four drops of the pigment paste and then I've got the gold is the light gold from Arteza put a decent scoop in so that um, it'll actually change to gold and then I'm going to put four drops of Pinata Gold alcohol ink in. Now I want to be piping at one, two, three, four. I'll write this down. Um, I want to be piping at 35 minutes. Well, no later than 35 minutes because my resin's getting quite warm. I've actually been taking its temperature because it's a, a new resin to me. I'm taking its temperature. <laughs> I know it sounds odd, but it's that's just me. I'm a bit odd. Um, it got to, I've been writing it all down, it got to 35 degrees and then um, I decanted. So once it got to 35 degrees then I poured it into the moulds and the cups and then as soon as I did that I started my video. Now the other one is this pink, it's called rose gold. Although I don't think you're going to see much of the rose because of the white. Oh, I don't want to get too much in there because of the white. Um, and then I'm, because it's rose gold, I'm going to add another four drops. One, two, three, four of the alcohol ink. Look, I don't know what the alcohol ink does. I'm just, I've always done it. Mix that up. Now, I don't have like a musty pink um, glitter. I was looking everywhere. I don't have one. The only, the closest thing, I, like there was a hot pink. There was like a more of an orange pink. Nothing. I didn't really have anything that was suitable to match this. I'm going to have to go out and buy one. Well, actually, I won't go out. I'll shop on eBay and get one. So I need to get some more of these um, gold leaf flakes anyway because I'm nearly out. And that's what's in there. Uh, so that's my gold leaf flakes. I've just got some in there. And that's going to be for my edge. I'm going to break those up. I'm going to pour them around the edge. And then I'm going to pipe my petals in the middle. Look, I don't know about this ring here. I don't know if it's any good or not. Is the light any better or does that ring just annoy you? I don't know. Normally I have it behind, like at the back of my table, short, um, facing down, but it's quite high up. I just thought I'd try this. If it doesn't work, or if you don't like it, let me know. I will go back to normal. There's a big blob in there. Get that out. You've got to make sure that your, um, your flakes are nice and separated. 
Yeah, that looks a bit odd, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't know. It's this one. It looks pink in there. Um, ancient pink. Glamour sparkles. I think it's like a... It looks pink in there. I think it's a, like a glass or something. I don't know. I think the colour's coming off it, actually. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, the colour's sitting on the bottom. Oh, never mind. Um, yeah, we'll just go with it. Put a little bit in the middle. And, of course, I had to spill. A little bit in the middle. I'm going to have to go and get myself some, a, a nice pretty pink glitter. Just a baby pink. And I can't believe I haven't got one. I looked through all my glitters. Like I must have 50 different colours of glitter. And do you think I've got a, pa a baby pink? No. Just typical when you want it. It's not there. Okay, well that's looking pretty good. All right, let's give this a bit of a torch. Pop some bubbles. Okay. Now the next thing I want to do, let's move these out of the way. The next thing I want to do is pour some of this out along the edges. So I'll make a little, get those out of the way. Make a little pinch my little cup there. It's a bit difficult to pour out because it's, you know, kind of thickish. But I will get my stick later and see if I can spread it out a bit. So I've made a paste. I didn't want to make it too thin, um, otherwise all the the gold would just kind of fly away into the centre of the the coaster and I didn't want that so I've made it into quite a thick paste but now of course it's difficult to pour out. I have to scoop the rest out. But I can spread it like that. And you jump off, you jump off. Now what are you doing? Are you a clump? Yes you're a clump. You know how when you, your gold leaf it kind of all sticks together? Um, you have to kind of really break it apart before you use it, otherwise you get big clumps like that. Okay, I think that's all I've got. I don't know whether I used enough or not. I didn't want to do too much, like I don't want it to overpower the, the flower. I just wanted a little bit on the outside, like so. And there's a clump. Get out. Just break it up a little bit. Hoping I haven't left the resin too long. Hopefully it's all right. I did do it earlier. And I let it get to, I think, 48 degrees. And then I decanted it and um, it was just a big sticky mess. did not work at all. So I'm going to try again. See if I can improve. Okay, so that's that done. Now let's pour these into the little piping bags. So there's my white. And it's just got a little bit of shimmer in it. Make sure we're still taping. Oh, so you're walking around that thing now. I'm probably going to trip over it. I don't know if that's any better, that light. I wonder if I can go up a bit. Is that going to... No, see, that doesn't, doesn't make any difference. Oh, the light's better though, isn't it? Let's go up there. Still got that streak through there. All right, that's the white, that's the gold. The white pigment paste does dull the colours down a little bit. Now I'm practicing for my bigger project that I want to do, that I've got in mind. So hopefully it works. I may actually mix some pink and some gold mica together. 
maybe so I can get more of a rose gold because this is more of a this is really a musk really isn't it more of a musk anyway let's see I guess if you put too much gold in it you're going to lose the fact that it's pink did I show you the ultra clear platinum I think so <clears throat> I think so okay now another piece of paper towel just to put there let's get these out The piping bags were quite back up to there. I cut them off. And I used a little measuring cup, little medicine cup, um, to measure out one ounce or 30 grams in each. I saw the lovely Sherry Moulton do that, and I thought, what a brilliant idea, girl. So I did that. So I put an ounce in each, and then I just scraped out the rest of my jug. You've got to be careful when you're letting your resin sit because if you let it sit in a deep cup, it can um, it can get too hot. That's why I put it into a jug like that. It's, it's wider and then, you know, it's not as deep. So it doesn't tend to go as hot so quickly. But look, I like to just check it with the thermometer to make sure that I'm not getting it um, too, too hot. It's just me. All right, what's that? Is that a hair or is that a bit of resin? I don't know. Okay, now, um, because we've got sort of pink, that's not really pink, is it? I'm a bit disappointed with that. Never mind. Um, I'm going to see if I can get a few rows. Now, where that, see where the resin ends there to the tip of the, little bag. I'm going to cut halfway. Halfway between. So it's a relatively big hole. It's probably about four or five millimeters wide and I'll be careful I don't snip that and it goes into my <laughs> resin. Okay so that's the gold. That's the pink. And the white doesn't seem to have as big a hole. Okay. Well, that's probably too big now. Right. Um, I think what I'll do is. Oh, I don't know. Let's start with. Um, let's start with some white. What's the time? Oh, it's exactly quarter to six. So that's my. My time. My thirty-five minutes. Did I say thirty-five minutes? Concentrating here. Okay, so we've got six petals. Okay, let's go with some pink. Well, you've got seven. How did that happen? You got six. And you've got six. Okay, let's go with the gold. When you're doing your petals, try not to drag. Um, just try and stay upright so that your piping line is the same size all the way around because if you start kind of dragging it or going faster it'll end up being thinner than the other colors and you really want it to be quite thick okay let's go with the white again oh, actually I shouldn't be ending in gold should I no Should be ending in not gold because I got the gold edging. Didn't plan that very well, did I? Okay. 
Okay. Mm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some gold in the center. Your center petals tend not to sort of move as much because they haven't got as far to go, whereas your outer petals, they tend to move more. And I find if I don't put enough in the center like that, it doesn't close up and I get a big gap. Okay, let's go with the pink. Doesn't matter if it goes over the gold because the gold's going to be dropping through to the back. Now again, make sure that you don't drag your piping bag. Otherwise you'll find that you're going to get a thinner line. You go, you're going further as well with the outer petals. You've got further to go and people tend to sort of rush. I'm going to see if I can put a little bit of gold just in there. Because I've got a bit of a gap there. And then I may, if I've got enough, do a little bit more white just on the very edge. So I've got a little bit of white left. I don't know if it'll be enough. To do all four but let's try it I always pipe off center like I'm too close over here and then over this side I've got way much much more space don't touch the mold with your colored resin It'll throw your pattern off. Gee, I'm doing lots of lines, aren't I? I didn't think I would have enough to do all this. To... So this last one, I kind of dragged it a bit, trying to get it to reach but I shouldn't have I was going to thicken it up again okay oh my gosh I did it so I haven't got much white left but I've got a bit of gold and I've got a bit of pink all right let me throw that out and I'm going to give my hands a bit of a wipe with my baby wipe and I'm going to spray some alcohol on it and I can clean my hands all right so the next thing I want to do is, with my little stick, I just want to come through and pick up those blobs where each colour, because you go, you go up and then you stop and you get a blob and then you go back up again and then you get another blob. So I just want to see if I can smooth the blobs over a bit I'm not going to go up the other way oops I didn't miss that one missed the blob I'm not going to take that up through again I just want to see what it looks like with petals I guess one good thing about having a heavier center like these little glass pieces is they don't float because the one I did earlier um, I used my Larissi um, holographic shards which are very pretty and it was the perfect color but they floated everywhere so the whole the whole thing just got covered in glitter because they floated 
starting to get a bit thick now. All right, I need to torch real quick. Real quick, real quick, with my heat gun. There it is, I'm gonna put it on high. I'm gonna go round, round, round. Make sure you don't go that close that you're gonna be, you know, touching it. Now I'm gonna go each little petal, I'm gonna go from the outside in, just to get it moving, just once. Because the outside, when I've only just, only just sort of done the outside, um, and the resin's starting to thicken up a bit, so um, you know, we wanted just to give it that little boost of heat to start it moving again. Mm, that one, mind you, that one was the last one, wasn't it? Is that the last one I did? On the other hand, on the other hand, don't don't heat too much because you've just waited like. 35 minutes, I waited 35 minutes before I piped um, for your resin to thicken. So the last thing you want to do is overheat it and make it all go all thin and, and watery again and then your colour will just drop straight through. If your resin's too thin, like you haven't let it set up enough, your colour will drop through. If it's too thick, like it's got too hot and it's got too thick, um, the lines will just stay like that and they won't actually bloom because the resin's too thick, the resin, you know how it goes from the outside in? If it's too thick it won't do that, it won't move. So it's looking as if it's working, you guys. I tell you. Can I tell you? Can I tell you a secret? Do you know how many times I've done this today? Four times. This is my fourth. It's late. I haven't had dinner yet. It's dark outside. Um, I started this morning. I did one. And I did another. And I did a third. And then I thought, okay, I'm going to have one more go at this and see if I can get it to work. Oh, I think it's worked. See, the thing is, you know, you try a new resin and, of course, it's different. The times, the setting times are different. Um, yeah, so I will put up, I probably will put up my very first one. Um, and then I'll put this one up afterwards. So <laughs> oh, hopefully you won't mind seeing the same one, the same colours twice. All right, let me get my gloves off. I'm going to take you down for a bit of a close-up. I actually don't know. Oh, actually, there's some bubbles there. I need to torch again. Won't matter too much because this is going to be the back. And I don't want to put a colour on top. I just want to have a little bit of that clear around the outside with the gold. Oh, it's looking so delicate and pretty. Oh, my gosh. You guys, you do Oh, oh. I'll just kick the... um. Oh, this is what happens. I've just kicked the, the cord for the ring light. The trials and tribulations. See, there it is there. There's my ring light. All right, let's go around. Oh, it looks very glary, doesn't it? Look at the shimmer. Oh, look at the shimmer, you guys. Oh, my gosh. You have no idea. I tell you, you have no idea how... Happy I am. I just thought I can't do it. Seriously, four times in one day, same colours, same recipe. The first two were with um, the Platinum 360 Plus, and then the other two were this one, the Ultra Clear. Um, but like I said, I overheated it, so I took it, I decanted it at what did I say? It was 48 degrees. It was really hot. Um, and then this one was only 30 degrees. So, phew, that worked. All right. Um, I'm going to go and have some dinner now. I'm so happy. Do the happy dance. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it's actually worked. And everything's closed up. And because I've got the, the glass even though it hasn't, I think it's lost its colour when I put it in the resin. Um, the centres should stay nice and round, even though I've like, you know, pulled the stick through. Um, the bottom should still, hopefully, still be a nice little circle. So there we go. A oh, few relief. You guys know what I mean, don't you? <laughs> yeah, you're shaking your head. Ah, nodding your head. All right, I'm going to see you in the morning. I think I'm, I'm delirious. I've got verbal diarrhoea tonight. All right.
See you tomorrow. It's the next day. I'm back bright and early. So, so excited to see what these are going to look like. Um, this was the first one I did. See, it's blobby. That's the top. Still looks okay. But, um, yeah, just didn't bloom as much. The, the coloured resin dropped down to the back. Now, I don't know if it was because my resin was too thin. Probably is. Normally, like, if it's too thin, you get blobs like that. I'll show you the difference. And then if it's too thick, this is what you get. It doesn't spread. It looks as if it might start spreading. That's the top that I poured on. It's that side's the top that I poured on. Um, but then underside, it just doesn't spread because the resin's too thick. So, you know how I was saying it goes from the inside out? It pulls and it makes that um, resin sort of bloom and spread. But when the resin's too thick and too hot, that's what you get. It doesn't work. <laughs> the other one is in the bin. It's in the trash. Um, yeah, <laughs> I was angry with it. I just chucked it straight away. So, <clears throat> But I'm, I'm well, I'm 99% sure that these are going to work. So cross your fingers for me. Oh, it was a hard day yesterday. <laughs> I was so close to giving up. And I thought, nah, I can do it. All right, so there we go. Look at that. That's the top. You can see a little bit of the gold in the pink. I'm actually going to go out today and buy um, Perlex Rose Gold. You can see it there. Just shimmering. So I'm going to go and get some of that and get some um, pale pink glitter. All right, are we ready? <clears throat> Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, it worked. I had to get closer. It worked. Oh, wow. Look at my glittery stuff. It's obviously being coloured with some with alcohol ink because the um, you can see the ink has come off. I, mean, I don't mind that look, you know, a little bit of pink around there. It's just, just a shame. But it's better than. Look how it all floated. That's the top. It just floated away. And then the bottom. There's there's a tiny bit left. Which still looks okay, but. I need to get something in between, something that's not so light so that it floats away everywhere um, and something that's a little bit hard and doesn't go anywhere. I'm just looking at it again. Oh, it's so pretty. What do you think of my little sprinkles around the edge, my gold leaf? I wonder if we can pick up any of the, the shimmer. I may be able to actually reduce the amount of cast and craft um, and that'll allow the other colors the marker powders to shine a little bit more you could use either the top or the bottom with these because the tops really beautiful as well <clears throat> look at that no blobs oh my gosh so happy so happy How many layers did I end up doing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think. Eight layers. Gold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, eight layers. Wow. I'm glad I did that extra gold around the, the center there. Otherwise, I may have had a little gap there. So pretty. I'm so excited, you guys. Now I can go and relax and have my coffee in peace. So, yeah, I just need to have that, that gold and that pink a little bit more bright. So I put in four drops of Cast and Craft in this, didn't I? So I'm going to try it with three drops. Three drops in 30 grams, or three drops in one ounce, and, and just see if I can get a little bit more of a, a pinky, goldy 
See, I'm getting it more on this side. I'm getting the shimmer. I don't know if you can see up there. You can see the shimmer of the gold. And then on this side, it's a little bit shimmery, but it's it's not quite what I was after. Just seeing if I can pick up the shimmer. See it a little bit. So there we go. But that's what happens when you put white with your markers. It, it does dull them down a little bit. I could probably make it a little bit thicker too, the coaster, just to give the 3D effect more more chance of being 3D. If it's too thin, um, your petals look more flat. Whereas if you can give it a little bit more room to move in, you get more of a 3D effect. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Where's my gold pen? Where's my gold pen? I'll just try one. I don't need to, I don't need to file anything um, because that's the top. There is a little bit of a lip there. I didn't fill the coasts up all the way, but I'm not putting gold on that side. I'm putting gold on this side. So let's have a look. Oh, maybe this one. So we've got more petals. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, start up there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> I always do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they've all got six except for this one. It's got seven. Oh, I don't, I don't know. Now, oh, do we do the gold? Oh, I don't know. Maybe not. Mm. Maybe not, you guys. Maybe this is one time where I don't do the gold because it's got the, the gold and the clear edge. I think not. I think if I put the gold rim on, I'd lose that transparent look which is what I was really after so no I'm not gonna do it this time I'm gonna restrain myself here we go all right phew I'm gonna go and have my coffee now so I guess the only thing that I'm a bit disappointed in is that center how it's lost its color you can see that it's had some pink ink to color it so not impressed Glamour Sparkle, Ancient Pink, Stamperia. Hmm. Okay. Maybe it's not meant for resin. I, I don't know. All right. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Um, yeah, and I don't think I'll, I'll put up these other videos because I don't think you want to be bothered seeing those, do you? Wrong one. Probably don't want to see the fails, do you? Epic fails. <laughs> All right. Thanks again for watching. Uh, I'll see you real soon for the next one. And um, I'll be doing my big piece with the changes from today. All right. See you soon. Bye for now.